we have good news for fans of the classic Aston Martin Valkyrie. If you missed out on a purchase, the brand new Valhalla, dubbed Son of Valkyrie by Aston Martin, is in the works. The Valhalla is said to be the ultimate balance of top performance, an evolution of the previously groundbreaking Aston Martin Valkyrie. The hybrid V8-powered Valhalla was developed with assistance from Aston Martin's F1 squad and has more power than any other street-legal vehicle. If you were wondering what cutting-edge features the supercar possesses that makes it so superior, then join us as we take a look at the Valhalla in this video. We would also be looking at its other exciting details, such as the interior and exterior design, and how much you would need to own a copy of the automobile beauty. So stay tuned. Aston Martin is known for its peak luxury and high-performance automobiles. Its coupes, convertibles, and even SUVs offer a level of workmanship and performance that is rarely encountered in the world. However, they are also committed to motorsport, and the brand has created several truly unique automobiles inspired by racing. The brand's track legacy was seen in its creation of the Aston Martin Valkyrie, and now, the new Aston Martin Valhalla. The Valkyrie was a hardcore road and track machine, while the upcoming Valhalla will be a more comfortable hypercar, capable of setting track records and making the long drive back home in style. Though the Valkyrie's legacy is evident, the Valhalla is a more mature piece of design, one that blends the pure aerodynamic purpose you'd expect from a Formula One competitor with the elegant shape, dramatic proportions, and impeccable detailing for which Aston Martin is known. The Valhalla is being developed by Aston Martin in cooperation with Red Bull Racing. It debuted at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show with the other three mid-engined supercars and hypercars, the Valkyrie, Valhalla, and Vanquish. However, the Valhalla will be very different from the version that was originally teased. It was initially dubbed AMRB003 briefly, but due to changes within Aston Martin, the project name for the car was later revealed to be the Son of Valkyrie at the car's public unveiling. This was because it employed several technologies initially established in Valkyrie. The car's final name was revealed to be Valhalla following the history of many prior Aston Martin models beginning with the letter V. The word Valhalla, like the Valkyrie, is derived from Norse mythology. The Valhalla was initially intended to have an indigenous turbocharged V6 engine. But due to the said management changes within the company, the engine was altered to a twin-turbo V8 in a plug-in hybrid configuration. When its production form arrived in July 2021, it included a substantial overhaul from the concept form, including moving the engines from the in-house V6 to the Mercedes-AMG M178 LS2 4-liter twin-turbocharged V8, in conjunction with two electric motors. This is the most modern, responsive, and powerful V8 engine ever mounted to an Aston Martin, capable of 7,200 RPM and producing over 800 PS. The power of the new V8 engine is enhanced by a 150-kilowatt, 400-volt battery hybrid system, which adds 204 PS for a total power output of over 1,000 PS. Due to this, the Valhalla, when unleashed, has a top speed of 217 miles per hour and a 0 to 62 mile per hour time of 2.5 seconds. Aston Martin claims the vehicle can go round the racetrack in a record lap of just 6 minutes and 30 seconds. At a top speed of 217 miles per hour, it is 33 miles per hour slower than the Valkyrie, but faster than the majority of cars on the road today. This is acceptable as the 2022 Aston Martin Valkyrie is more geared toward the track, but the 2024 Aston Martin Valhalla is more centered on a real-world driving experience. The Valhalla was designed to be more luxury, comfort-oriented, and thus has features not present in the track-focused Valkyrie. For example, the Valhalla, unlike the Valkyrie, contains some modern driver aid technologies such as automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, and blind spot monitoring. In terms of design, its silhouette is befitting of its status as a masterpiece. The first car of its kind, the brand combined high performance with perfect proportions to achieve a striking, futuristic sculpture. The Valhalla's sleek design blends function and form in a way that is appropriate for the new generation of mid-engine supercars. Its exterior was influenced by active aerodynamics of how air travels through wind tunnels and the desire for maximum downforce. Thus, it features a huge front splitter and air passages that expose the front wheels from various angles. The Valhalla was designed around a carbon fiber core, and there's a lot of exposed carbon fiber on the outside. This is supplemented by high-performance carbon ceramic matrix brakes that provide remarkable stopping force when needed, as well as its specially engineered Michelin tires. 
The car also features unique dihedral doors, aka butterfly doors. They open and close along with a majority of the roof, because these differ from the Valkyrie's gullwing doors. The Valhalla has superior access and egress. Overall, not a single surface works in isolation. Every design aspect serves a purpose. When it comes to the interior, the Valhalla appears to be a sumptuous cockpit, but it is so much more. The driving position, inspired by Formula 1 TM cars, positions the driver near Valhalla's center line, with a low hip-to-heel ratio for optimal control and apex ergonomics for perfect driver alignment. It is interesting to note that there are several similarities in the interior of the Valhalla and Valkyrie, such as both being built over carbon fiber tubs and having fixed position chairs. They also both entail adjustable pedals and steering wheels to accommodate the driver's preferences. However, a major difference between the cockpits of both vehicles is that the Valhalla has a few more creature comforts and premium accents than the Valkyrie's motorsport-inspired cockpit. The steering wheel of the Valhalla has its own digital display in the center, with built-in navigation and a quality, high-powered sound system available to its two occupants. The finest sound will, of course, come from the high-strung power plant and its top center-positioned exhaust ports. Looking at the connectivity and infotainment features of the vehicle, we are certain that Valhalla's infotainment system will support Aston's future user interface, which will be the first to use a touchscreen. Of course, we anticipate it should also include desirable software, such as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The basic Valkyrie features a central infotainment screen, whereas the AMR Pro version wouldn't. The steering wheel of the AMR Pro version will be removed, it will exclude typical side mirrors, and the seat belts will be replaced with harnesses. Despite all these impressive interior and exterior components, the automobile is expected to weigh just slightly less than 1,550 kilograms. As we previously mentioned, the Aston Martin Valhalla has evolved so much since its debut that it's nearly a separate car. Carlo de la Casa, Valhalla's development director, outlined the revamp in an interview, admitting the supercar was delayed until the second half of 2024. However, the delays will allow Aston Martin to considerably improve the Valhalla's performance across the board. From the chassis to the drivetrain, some upgrades will even leave the door open for future enhancements, though whether they will be available to all models or merely the highest performing special models is presently unknown. The Valhalla was originally scheduled for a 500-unit manufacturing run, but due to a change of ownership, the production capacity was increased to 999 units. Possibly due to the increase in the number of planned production units, the price of the vehicle was reduced from $1.3 million to $800,000. Whether at $1.3 million or $800,000, the price is still a significant drop from the more extreme Valkyrie, which costs $3 million. However, the vehicle is still a powerful in-betweener compared with other vehicles in the same category. Many similar cars such as the Bugatti Chiron and the Mercedes AMG One have their prices in the millions whilst there's a slew of cheaper high-end sports vehicles such as the Porsche 911 Turbo and the Lamborghini Aventura, which cost below half a million. Of course, Aston Martin will accommodate unique requests for custom designs or features, which can add tens of thousands of dollars to the price. The Valhalla will be developed in Aston Martin's Gaydon factory in the United Kingdom, and production is set to begin in 2023, against its release in 2024. According to the company's representatives, the number of users in the United States has not been determined, but they anticipate a large number given that the United States is one of Aston's largest markets. It is not improbable for you to spot the Valhalla at cars and coffee one day, though you might need to shake your martini shaker to be sure. You have undoubtedly seen the vehicle already from its brief appearance in the James Bond film, No Time to Die. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out other car videos on our channel.